It's Monday evening and today was definitely a Monday. I'm about to cook myself some dinner. It's about 7.30. I just finished working. And today was like one of those days where <laughs> you feel like you kind of got nothing done because all of the little things that you did do were just super tedious and time consuming that you've been putting off. I noticed some fraud on one of my accounts when I was trying to figure out how much we've paid at the electrician. And for some reason, Chase doesn't have a way that you can just like search a company name. Like you have to look at every single check in like your account to see who it's to. And there are gnats all over my house right now. I don't know what the deal is, but that is like the third one I've killed in the last like 10 minutes. <sighs> so that was today for me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cook some dinner. I did hear that there is a uh, Bachelor Australia that's on Amazon Prime. So I'm gonna check that out and see what the latest one is. I also wanted to show you guys, if you saw on Instagram, I just put this fake tattoo on and look how good it looks still. <laughs> I even rubbed like belly oil on my belly last night. Um, I haven't taken a shower today, but it still looks like really quite good. I'm pretty impressed. It's from Amazon. This one, I did too, but I realized after the fact that I like, it overlaps right here on this tattoo, so it doesn't look super good. <laughs> I also wanted to share this with you guys. So my people who love fresh smelling stuff, this is going, okay. So the, the, the way that laundry smells is the only reason I like to do laundry. This gives you that smell without even having to do laundry. <laughs> this smells like the best laundry mat, laundry smells I've ever smelled in my life. It is, um, I don't know if it's Glade or what. I'll put, a, I'll put a picture of it on the screen. I got it from the grocery store. It's $5.99 for two of them, maybe cheaper online, but I want like a thousand of these. Piper, you're being extremely loud, lady. <laughs> this, oh, it smells, I just wanna eat it. Like it smells so, this is what I want my entire house to smell like. I think I'm gonna buy a million of these. But it's like the gain um, little one. So you press this little button on the back and set it there. So I've been, I put one in my bathroom, our bathroom, and then one in the guest bathroom. And every time I walk by, I just can't even explain to you how good this smells. Like, oh. I just realized I had a giant dildo on my bedside table. <laughs> um, I'm trying to like stretch my vagina out or something for birth. <laughs> like, you know how they have like, where your partner's supposed to like push down. Well, oh geez, I gotta log into my Peloton account. I am trying to start this right now. I don't even know my login, I'm gonna have to look it up, but I wanna do a meditation course on here because I need to kind of like learn how to meditate a little bit for labor, uh, in my opinion, according to my doula and stuff, I need to be able to transport myself somewhere else. Um, and I don't really have any experience meditating. So I'm gonna try and find my login here and do this. I also didn't have any luck with Bachelor Australia. I saw like some, like a Bachelorette Australia from like 2017 on Prime. But are you guys watching that? Like, where are you watching it? Cause I don't, I don't know where to get it. Um, and the 2017 one, I couldn't even watch for some reason. It was just on there. We are in. Okay, meditation, I've never clicked this before. Okay. They really need more stuff for pregnant people on this Peloton. Like, Okay, relaxing meditation, sleep meditation, happiness, morning. I don't know which one to click. Let's try that. Okay, let's see. So the doula also said that I should figure out what like kind of playlist I wanna to listen to when I'm in labor and I honestly don't know. Like part of me is like, I wanna to listen to 90s country so I can like just be feeling it. And then the other part of me is like, do I want to like be listening to something like you listen to like when you're getting a massage? Like I literally have no idea. So I think I need to try and figure out, like listen to some maybe labor playlists that are on Spotify and like see how they make me feel. 
I have no idea. I don't know what it's going to be like, so I don't really know what I want. You know what I mean? Like, where they're like, well, what do you want? Like, do you want to give, do you want to catch the baby when she comes out or do you want Nick to? I'm like, I don't know what position I'm going to be in. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be in the water, out of the water, on all fours. Like, I have no idea. So like, it's so hard to make these decisions. Does any, or any other first time moms out there like <laughs> listening to this and like relating? Cause thank you. Cause I just, I really don't know until I know. I, I don't know. Candle lit. Right, so with class, I'd like you to make sure you find yourself in a really comfortable position. I like to sit up on a bolster or a blanket that's folded up a few times. Softening your muscles around your bones. Relaxing. Releasing and letting go. <laughs> From the inside out. And the narratives we tell ourselves. Okay, I cannot. This is awful. This is hell on earth. I'm not interested in this at no. all. No. No, no, no. I don't know how anyone is into that. I don't like it. It's boring. <laughs> what I think I'm gonna do instead right now is try to find some labor playlists that I find relaxing to listen to. I really like nature sounds. Do you hear that? Running water. We're already using the baby's hatch. <laughs> it turns on at 9 p.m. every night and turns off at 9 a.m. every morning. So I think I'm gonna try to do that. I don't know, I just don't need this guided meditation. It's not, I'm not a fan. Maybe, maybe it's one of those things I need to learn to love. You know what I also don't like? Um, unpopular opinion, I don't like yoga. I don't like it at all. We're about to leave to go on some errands. We actually were gonna go get our marriage license because I have a surprise for you guys. <laughs> but before that, we're gonna go get some breakfast, but check out uh, Got some shiplap going up. Look at that. That's pretty cool. We're gonna paint that like a color, like this, like a charcoal. Nick, what did you think about that uh, color that Gabe sent for that? Uh, in the. I don't know if I saw it. Bless you. Bless you. Um, it's in our chat. Bless you. So we're heading down to my friend Hallie's house right now to pick up some belly bar tables for the baby shower on Sunday. Nick is off today and then works tomorrow. My mom is coming in tomorrow and I've got a birth class and then we're gonna go get some dinner, but uh, she's not at her house and we have a key to it and she's in Mexico right now and I don't know if anyone's there, so we're gonna knock on the door. And oh, B&E? Yeah, <laughs> B&E. Yeah. What's that? Br break, and, break, break and enter? Well, it also means bacon and eggs. Yes. Uh, so we're gonna help ourselves to those in our garage with uh, the trailer we've got. We're in Nick's truck right now. I woke up at 5 a.m. and could not go to sleep. My brain like would not shut off. I'm just trying to figure out the next business venture that I want to get involved in. I have no idea what it is. But I feel like I just need to focus on motherhood right now. Is your brain on right now? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> the lights are on, but I don't know if anyone's <laughs> We're uh, gonna get married at the baby shower. <laughs> Isn't that you did know that, right? Well, this vlog's not coming out until next Tuesday. So it'll already be all wow. over the internet. So we get to share it. it feels wrong to talk about it so early, but it feels right. so great. Yeah, we decided because we wanted to be married before, um, oh my gosh, I almost said her name, uh, before baby gets here. And so we were just gonna do it at the courthouse, but we're like, why don't we just do it at the baby shower and surprise everybody? So I don't know how it's gonna go down, but hopefully I'll get some footage from it, from someone's phone or something to stick in this vlog. We're in this very, very tight alley. <laughs> Luckily. He's got a, what's this thing called? A winch? Yeah, I know. 
Batman shit. So we're trying to clear that right there. Hot man shit. I think he got it. <laughs> Good job. I told you I didn't do anything. Well, I, I believed you. I just said we could have just taken my truck and <laughs> not had a trailer. <laughs> you must really love me. Yeah, of Got me the Chester's hot fries and everything. <laughs> Look at that, we just installed these yep. guys. And then this these are about to go up. Guys. Okay. And then we got some cool. under cabinet Here's lighting your here. Garbage disposal, dishwashing. Okay. So I believe the wait, bottom wait one. Wait to see how good does that fucking look? Oh my gosh, I got a boner. I got a fucking boner. Um, and then he turned these guys on over here. They look so good. This is gonna look so awesome with like the shelves on here with the underlighting. Remember to always turn the electricity off before you start working on it. It's not off right now. <laughs> Do you, we should turn that off. No, I don't want you to get hurt. Oh, I wanted to show you guys some stuff that we got in the mail. We used baby list for our registry. So I don't actually know who any of this stuff is from right now, except for the gift card, one thing. But um, so yeah, I have to look once the baby shower is done and see what people got, but I didn't want to spoil anything. So here's what we got so far. Some people, I think it's like they can't come or something. So they just shipped it to our house. So I'm gonna show you what we got. I did link you guys to my baby list registry um, before, and I'll link it in this video too, in case you guys want ideas for yourself. This is a really cute like deer head, little uh, like cart thing. Um, it's called a giggly shopping companion. <laughs> so that's super cute. This is a, like little felt kind of like diaper bag for like the car. The car is what I had it in mind for, but you can carry this from room to room or stick it in a bathroom or like wherever you're gonna be changing your baby. This, oh my gosh, it's so hard to bend over. Whew, made it up. This is uh, the mini mat. It's basically like suction cups to the um, table. So I remember when I was little and I was feeding my little sister, she would like throw shit like off her, her high chair and you can't throw stuff with this. I mean, you can still throw the food, but they can't toss the entire thing off the table, uh, rendering the meal completely useless unless it's a five second rule. We believe in germs in this house. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Um, and it's uh, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, all that good stuff. This has like a little tail on it. I'm not gonna pull it all the way out, but it's like a little, you can see right here, it's like a little like bath thing for the, oh my gosh, I'm out of breath, bending over. Whew. It's a three stage tub. So like you can use it like with this little guy right here. So you can have like a younger baby in there and then you can do it like this for an older baby. Um, and I just, I thought it was really cute. We're about to go to dinner. Nick's dad just like randomly showed up at our house. He lives in San Francisco. So he's been driving down here for the past two days and didn't bother to tell us he was coming. <laughs> We're like, um, hi. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. I mean, I'm glad he's here, but like, that's so, who just shows up at someone's house like unannounced like that? I mean, it's a great surprise, but like, I'm not ready for guests yet at all like i have a lot of shit to do tomorrow and tonight Whew. just did stroller content it turned out really cool i think so i love the stroller actually the um the like i didn't think i would like like a stroller that like it's a stroller but like i like the stroller it's like so smooth and like buttery when you glide it and you can actually set it up for like two kids which is awesome because i kind of plan to have like not back-to-back -back pregnancies but like back-to-back -back pregnancies you know what i mean so we're about to go get some food i had some shoes on my feet for today which was nice and my poor right foot is like bitch no i'm swelling up now so put my ass in some sandals so what baby wants baby gets and i guess i'm gonna set up the motor home for him to stay in because i don't have anywhere else for him to stay unless he wants to get in bed with us I'm wearing the same outfit I was wearing last night because I didn't want to think about what I was wearing so I was already late because Nick's dad talked my ear off 
I just went to Home Goods. I'm trying to like get some more things for the baby shower. I just need some like little finish up items kind of things, like little bases for the tables and stuff. So now I am hitting this little UPS store in Solana Beach right now to drop some stuff off to get it out of the house. I was looking around at the house today and I was just like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do still. Like we have so much to do still. I really hope Nick does not get forced tomorrow and is able to get off at 7 a.m. like he's supposed to. He is first up on the force list. So if you have a boyfriend or husband that's a fireman or an EMT or a paramedic, you know exactly what that means. <laughs> that means if somebody calls in sick or something, he is literally next up on the list. Okay, so my mom's here. Nick's dad went back to his hotel. We ate some dinner, um, but I wanted to show you guys some progress on the fireplace area. What are you doing, JoJo's? <laughs> so the siding on the side of this got done. This little cabinets got put together and modified a little bit. So that is all done. And this side is done over here as well. We're not gonna leave it natural wood even though it looks kind of cool. <laughs> um, we're gonna do this whole thing like black to bring in a little bit of a masculine vibe and to match our handles and some stuff over there. What do you think, Piper? What do you think? You love it? You love it, boop. Nick is home, woo! We put everybody to work. He's installing the light up there. This is Nick's dad, Nick. <laughs> Nick number two. Um, my mom is in here cleaning a bathroom. Look at all this baby stuff she brought. Oh, I gotta wash this. Um, oh my gosh, these are so flippin' cute. Uh, super cute stuff, huh, Piper? Um, he's installing our, uh, he just found like this really cool light right here. So he's gonna install that. Yeah, I think it's a good height. I put up a video that was all about my birth plan and then I edited a thumbnail that was all about how my body has changed in my third trimester. Wrong thumbnail with the wrong video. It was up for like an hour before I even noticed. The only reason I noticed is because your guys' comments talking about like your own birth experiences and then literally I was reading and I was like, did my stupid ass seriously put the wrong thumbnail up? Oh yeah, that's not the job. Um, Nick put our pendant lights up. How good do those look? Say hi, Mom. Hi. As always, whenever I come to Kristen's house, she puts me to work on <laughs> slave labor. You come at the wrong times. <laughs> I'm going to have to change your diapers and stuff when you're really old, so I guess... No, I'm going to have enough money for you to pay someone to do that for me. Okay. Well, if not, I will pay for it. I know. I wouldn't actually ever change your diapers. I know. I wouldn't want you to do that. Yeah, no. Yeah. We're, we're not going to do that. Can I say one thing? What? Okay. When I came into this house yesterday, I cannot believe that my precious daughter was having to live like this. I had no idea how bad it was. Oh, and this is nothing compared to how it was. Man. Even the bedroom is still awful, though. Oh, it's yeah. pretty awful right now. So. And this is, I mean, the this pictures, is beautiful. Those compared. pictures that you saw yeah. with nails all over the floor and cement ripped up, that's how it was about eight months of it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this flooring just got put in on the 14th of March. Man, yeah. I get it now. Why do you think it has so many breakdowns? It's been yeah. really rough. Talking you off the ledge a few times. Honestly. Speaking of meeting people, yeah. The vlog has not met you. This is Dakota. <laughs> Everyone that's like, you need help with your animals after you have this baby and right now. Yeah. This is my help. She's amazing. I'm the help. <laughs> <laughs> it's solid time. Basically the animal whisperer slash nanny. That's animal nanny. Generous. Is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. She's killing it. That's a salad for the rabbits. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to work. <laughs> this is getting painted right now. It is going to be black. For charcoal. Basically, it's been like an episode of uh, one of those home renovation shows where everyone's scrambling to get everything done at the last minute before the homeowners come. It's a mess. It's Friday. Oh my gosh, it's Friday. We just went to my neighbor's house to steal all the limes off her tree. She said we could. <laughs> <laughs> Running lots of errands today. We're going to Costco, dollar store. Nick was supposed to be off tomorrow. He got forced to work, so he's not off until the morning of the baby shower, which sucks, because we need a lot of stuff moved around. My screen is going dark. Uh -uh. 
and then not. I hope that's just the screen and not the camera. Oh, it's my sunglasses that have like some sort of, <laughs> I did this in the car the other day. I was literally like, look, oh I was like, why do I, gosh. I was like, why do our windows have these lines in it? And next I get <laughs> oh your glasses. Gosh. Got Karen in the, uh, as the co-pilot. Hello. <laughs> um, my mom is going down to pick up my cousin Jamie from the airport and uh, we're trying to get as much done as we can. We got this really cool drink bar delivered this morning. I'm gonna have to show it to you guys. It is like super, super cute. It is Saturday, the day before the baby shower. All hands on deck. It is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> we got all the doggies out here. I think it's gonna be pretty cloudy like this tomorrow, but Nick is at work today, but we put the boys to work over here. <laughs> Look at how cute these are. So cute. You guys are doing nothing to help, huh? Just looking cute? Get out of here. How many cameras can you have on you at one time? <laughs> Jenna's filming. Right there. Over here. I'm filming her filming. Yeah. <laughs> we, as the day before, or the night before the baby shower, we got a lot done today. I'm looking at my cousin Jamie who doesn't want to be filmed. We all crushed it, mostly everyone but me, because nobody would let me pick anything up or carrying anything. If you saw her feet, you would know why. <laughs> they are swollen. Yeah, but you, got, you decorated that room so nicely. It was, it was, a, really it was a group effort. Oh my gosh. She's a designer. Everyone, like when everyone saw what you bought, they're like, is she like a, um, an interior designer? You get that all the time though. In my next life, I would love to do that. I really love that avocado. I think it's going to be good by the morning still. What is it look like? Eat it. Oh well. Maybe we should eat it? We should eat it. Okay. Look how cute that is. That's going to be the dessert bar over there. And then you can't see anything in that other room. I'll have to show you guys tomorrow. Oh my gosh. We've been searching all the last couple days to get a mic that works. And I finally got this one to work. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> it is the day of the party and I just bought this overnight and it finally works. I took this little fucker off the other end of that Bluetooth thing and it works. <sighs> okay, I'm feeling good. Okay, this is like not that loud though. I'm sure you can turn it up. Yeah. I am getting ready right now. It is like 12.30. So people are gonna be showing, oh shit, it's 12.43. I'm not even dressed yet. My hair's not done. It starts at one. Everyone's running around trying to get everything done. I'm so grateful for everyone that has helped me today. Friends and family, like, I honestly could never have done this without all of their help. Um, it's incredible. So I was hoping to be ready by now, but I'm trying to get her done. Okay, I'm all done. I'm afraid to go out there with the camera though, because Oh, we got a cocktail coming. I got you mocktail. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I want to show you guys outside, but there's just so much going on. I get grabbed every five seconds because I'm so popular. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is like a strawberry mojito. Brooklyn made like the coolest balloon arch. I have to show you guys. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Is there any officiants right now that can make this happen? Yeah, I think, I think I got it. 
Okay, you got this? Okay, Kristen, what do you guys think? Do you want to get married right now? And with that, I'm going to let him take over. Well, it is the end of the night. It could have ended like six hours ago for me. I'm so exhausted. Are you seriously already in bed? Yeah. Have you brushed your teeth? Yeah. You have not. Yeah, that's all I did. I scrubbed with the thing. You I did, did not. brush my teeth. wake him up and give him some vitamins right now so he's not super hungover tomorrow. I obviously won't be hungover. <laughs> Good morning. Nick is hurting a little bit. Let me show you the bar. Oh my goodness. Shit, I forgot to tell him I'm doing laundry right now. What a mess. Um, I just got some ice in these cups because I'm going to make us some Bloody Marys. I'm going to have a Virgin Bloody Mary. I'm going to make Nick one so that uh, he can, um, he's pretty hungover, I guess. <laughs> Nothing like bartending out in the wilderness in the morning in my favorite robe, you know what I mean? <sighs> Yesterday was fucking cool. Um, one of my best friends never showed up, which I just realized, and I'm kind of, like, surprised. I, like, didn't, like, hear from her, so that was kind of odd. But I think the people that came that saw everything were like really stoked. So that was super cool. I should put some more ice in here so I don't have to put as much of this. Jenna like decorated. I just, there's no words to even like describe my appreciation for what like Jenna and Brooklyn did. Like Jenna went over and beyond and like did so much shopping and like got a like her husband like had sweaters made for us like I don't, everything was just like so perfect the way she decorated the Bronco like she was like on it with everything making sure I got photos and doing this because like if I don't have someone like doing that for me like at an event like I won't get any photos or any video because I didn't even pick this thing up once and like I don't know it was just like it was just magical. <laughs> And I am now married, so I'm pretty happy about that, too. Um, my parents are still down here in their motorhome. I'm going to carry these in, uh, but this is a mess to clean up out here. I don't know what all these random drinks are down here that I didn't buy. But um, thank you guys so much for watching and celebrating along with us during this vlog. And we will see you in the next one. And very soon here, there's going to be a baby with us in these vlogs. She, she thinks she's coming the end of April. Nick thinks April 28th. I don't know what I think, but probably somewhere around there. We'll see you guys later. Bye. I was worried you blow my reputation. But if you're gonna start on me, yeah, yeah, yeah.